Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll have a look at the vignette tool in Luminar AI. Now, this is a tool we will use on lots of our photos, that gentle guiding of our viewer's eye toward whatever subject we want in the frame. It's not always the center. Sometimes that can be off center. And that's one of the things I wanna show you about this tool. Really quick, if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. There's an offer code down there that can save you some money. Let's have a look at vignette. A vignette is one of the final touches we'll add to our photo, so it makes sense it's at the bottom of the essentials list. And the way I like to work with the vignette, let me open up all the controls. I like to have both the basics as well as the advanced open. And I like to work visually. I'll start by taking the event down really, really far. So I know there's a vignette. I'll take the feather down really, really far. So now we can see the vignette. This is great. The next step is to place the center of the vignette. When we compose our photos, often the subject of our photo is not in the middle. So our vignette doesn't always make sense to have it in the middle and just darkening the corners, right? So we'll go to this place subject or choose subject rather button. And then just kind of click around your photo until you get it centered on your subject. For me, my subject is this front tree here and that looks pretty well centered. I can turn off the placing of the subject, the choosing of the subject. Now I can adjust the roundness here, maybe this a little rounder. The size can come way down. And um, a tighter size is, is kind of okay. Uh, Luminar does a nice job of making a very gentle faded vignette. So maybe something like this. If I need to, I can now refine my subject. So, you know, this part's a little more interesting than the base of the tree. Okay. Now I'll take that feather and bring it way back up. So we start to feather that out and fade it out. And finally, I can adjust the amount so that the vignette is, is there, but it's very subtle. So right there for the moment, before and after. So it's added, but it is very, very gentle. And this last control, inner light, that adds just a little bit of glow toward the center of the vignette. So you recall the center of the vignette was right around this tree here. If I push inner light really far, we'll see that center part get very, very bright. Usually, you know, a handful of, of uh, numbers here, you know, single digits. Uh, my style is, is pretty subtle, just to add a little brightness to that center of the vignette. So it's one more way of adding a little contrast in your scene. Summed up before that, and after. So my advice is to work visually, take the amount down really far, take the feather all the way down to you know, negative a million so you can see the edge of the vignette. Shape it, size it, position it where you want it in your photo, and then go back and revisit the strength and you know, dial in the amount you want. Push the feather out so it gets this nice gentle fade. You'll have the perfect looking vignette for your photos. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.